It's New Year's, New Year's, New Year's, and we're all here. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. Happy New Year to you, good people of YouTube. We are here. It's almost the end, the end of 2021. Are you excited? Oh, boy. I bet you are. You want to get that done and over with. Okay, okay. This was all last second. I'm glad you're here, and I'm going to share something really cool with everybody. But before we get started, I need a favor. I, if you're new first time here, I need that favor. Subscribe. Hit that bell to be reminded when we're coming on. It's really easy. There's a button right over here down there, and you could subscribe over here and enjoy more of this, what we're going to be giving you in the future for the new year and all that great stuff, what this channel's about. It's the ultimate intimate conversation with your favorite artist. And there's a favorite artist of mine that I really just love since I was a kid growing up. And you might have remember a couple of songs like This Magic Moment, um, a band called Janie Americans. He's the founding member, Mr. Kenny Vance. Also, Kenny has another band called Kenny Vance and the Planetones. And He's done so much. He's has his uh, a movie. He has a documentary in the works right now, and all those links will be down below. But I got to talk with Kenny and talk a little bit about rock and roll, about his first time on Saturday Night Live after Jane the Americans. It was his first performance as a solo artist right after Jane the Americans. Picture that S second season with the legends like John Belushi, uh, Giltner Radner. Buck Henry was the co-host. There's a lot of stories he's going to talk about, also about producing John Belushi. I bet you didn't know that about Kenny, and much, much more. It's a quick interview, but before we go there and talk about that, watch this till the end. This was last second, so what I do want from you is to put your comments down below, your feedback for the love of this show to keep good rock and roll stories alive, because it really is something that's special to my heart, and I hope it's something special to your heart. And also, share this out to somebody that you know that might love rock and roll as much as you do, because it's only rock and roll, and we do love it, baby. But in the chat, since we're live, who's here with us right now, everybody? I want to wish you all a happy new year. Happy new year to Debbie. Mwah. Glad you're here. Laura G, always good to see you. Happy new year to you. Glad that the troops are all here out here. And who else? Let me see. I don't have my bifocals on. I'm so sorry if I don't have it. But you know what? I know you're here. You're strong. You're powerful. You're all beautiful. What are you doing? Well, you know what? Grab your fist, grab your cocktails, whatever you're doing, make a toast to you because you deserve it. You guys are the best. All righty. Xandra is here. Steve is here. Donnell is here. Very good to see everybody. All righty. All righty. Everybody on that note, Laura G is, is saying hi to cooking with the kid. That means the kid is here too. All right. Subscribe. Share this out. Let's get this channel to be known, to be seen because there's a lot of good stories and there's a lot of good stuff we're having on in the future. Now, everybody. This man, no introduction. It was a beautiful story. The original interview is about over an hour of his time. I cut it down to 10 minutes right now just to share a little moment about a song that I think is fabulous. It's the performer. And he talks about how it was written, who he was influenced by. And he goes really deep down the rabbit hole. But you got to hear his story. Because while he was talking about this song, the performer, I had no idea that he produced John Belushi, which Kenny little known fact about him, singer, musician, songwriter, producer, did the soundtrack American Hot Wax. He produced Animal House, the soundtrack to that movie, Eddie and the Cruises, much, much more. He is having a documentary coming out, Heart and Soul. Links will be in the description down below. You could subscribe and follow Kenny. It's a must because music like this is not around. And this man is passionate, loves it. And what else can I say? Ladies and gentlemen, let's roll the tape of my interview with Kenny. All righty, check it out. Bam. Well, I'm so free, my loving baby is through with me. Bye bye happiness. Hello, so you know, I thought, oh yeah, no, blah, blah, like that. And then there was a song uh, called "The Performer" that mm -hmm. I wrote with a guy, another guy, and I 
got my friends, you know, from from the Fania All Stars. So there was a bunch of guys like Jerry Gonzalez played conga and trumpet, and and uh, Orestes Filato and Nicky Marrera, and and we cut it. You know, it was just like whatever. Mm-hmm. Saturday Night Live. Did you perform the performer on Saturday Night yeah, Live? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But but here's the thing. So yeah. I recorded it in 1976. Uh, I had when I when I left Jay and the Americans in 1972. I wound up working for Fania Records and I wound up producing records for them. And one of the guys that I produced was Ralphie Pagan. What a wonderful thing we have. Ooh, ooh. If you go on YouTube, he's got three million hits on all, all of the songs. The guy was killer. He was a New Yorican that was a hospital x-ray a, 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 a attendant or x-ray technician. And he also worked, you know, recorded for Fania and I produced the record. So I worked with Johnny Pacheco. I was around the Fania All-Stars. And, and so when I decided to come up with a song that that was an English song that was where I used this this uh, thing called a Monduno, mm-hmm. which was, I think, invented by uh, Arsenio Rodriguez in the 1950s at the Hotel Nacional he played in Cuba. And he is, he's like the B.B. King of salsa. He, he played a trace and he made up ding, 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 ding. And so, you know, that's the melody, the, the performer. And, um, so I got the Fania All-Stars up at the studio. The room was filled with these guys. And we made um, we made this recording of the performer. In those days, Saturday Night Live just went on the air. And they would bring on like unusual musical numbers and usual musical situations and one of the producers came by the studio and she Jean Demanian and had she happened to see me doing this in the studio so they put me on the I was on season two on Saturday Night Live but then in 1989 in the 1900s <laughs> In the 1900s. It's so funny when you say that. <laughs> That's crazy, right? In the 1900s, I, I recorded it again. It's sort of a jazzy yeah. version of it. And that's the, that's the song. That's that the video. Up. That's the video. And, don't get too close to her. and that's the song that was on uh, the short vacation album. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. But the video's done very well because it has that it's filmed great you know the street it, the kind of vibe oh and the, da- the two dancers mm-hmm. it's very moody there's a two dancers that i got from the i don't know how i remember from the ballet hispanic in new york and because we wanted to use dances and we wanted like professional dances and that's where they came from I, I almost remember the name of the of the uh, director of the ballet Hispanica, Graciela Daniela. Is that how you pronounce it, Graciela Daniela? Yeah, Correct. I think that's her yeah. name. If it is, I get it. <laughs> 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 I 
if it's not somebody just got a shot out <laughs> that, so that was so that was you you performed on in around 76 Saturday Night Live that was your first that was my first performance ever as a solo artist since right? Jay and the Americans <laughs> and, it was, and there it was the, in those days I think 60 million people watched that show yeah and you know I remember buying a new shirt for it <laughs> and uh, you know I really wasn't you know prepared to do it but it worked out not yeah. ready for prime time <laughs> not ready for prime time it was me it was you sure. so I that was the second season so every it was you had Belushi you had Aykroyd on it right yeah. Bill, Mar Bill Murray Gil Narada it was yeah uh, probably Chevy Chase was on it as absolutely well. yeah, yeah. Buck Henry was the, Henry. Ends, was Henry. the uh, guest host that day, and he introduced me. You're right. Because right. he was, he, Buck Henry, he was like the only host they would get in the beginning. Remember back then? He was on a lot. Buck he Henry. He was on a lot. A lot. He was on a lot. Yeah. It was before it became really, wow. Yeah. So that was, that was a wild scene back then, too, because, you know, back then they were all young and 70s, early. It was craziness back then, huh? The whole scene. Well, you know, I don't really want to get into the whole backstage <laughs> thing, but you can use your imagination. Belushi. I mean. Because these guys, you know, wherever they had come from, Second City or, mm -hmm. you know, most of them, and uh, Howard Shaw was the music director and Paul Schaefer was, uh, That's right. you know, the, 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 the piano player and in the band. And, and, uh, and these guys were you know, just there, happy to have a job. And then all of a sudden it became the, the, the big, they became the Beatles really. Yeah. You know, Gilda and, um, and, uh, and, and Lorraine Newman and Bellucci and, and Aykroyd. And right, right after that 19, I'm just trying to think uh, what, when, when they did Animal House. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think, you know, I think Bellucci got paid $25,000 to do Animal House. That was like 78, maybe, maybe around. Yeah, that, and around. I wound up producing uh, the, the soundtrack album. And so two of the things that I produced on there were John Bellucci singing Louie Louie. Hello, hello. Oh, no. And um, Money, the old Barrett Strong. Mm -hmm. The best things in life are free. There's so much to talk about. I mean, uh, come on. I mean, this is this is the stories I want to caption. I love to share with the audience, and it just it's just endless. It's beautiful. Ah, beautiful, wonderful. Oh man, it's so cool having you here, and it's great to share these, this music with you and listen with you because it's where it all began. Everybody that's watching, we'll put all links in the description. You're going to catch Kenny. You'll see all his tour dates. We'll put everything there. And I can't wait for the doc to come out. And that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Heart and yeah. soul. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Mr. Okay. Vance, thank you for spending right, some time brother. with us. We'll speak soon. And uh, Absolutely. Any questions? No, I'll it's a pleasure, man. I have a sm I'm have smiling for the whole hour. Uh, I enjoy. I enjoy. Okay. I had a great time. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry I kept you longer than I thought we were going to stay. But I, you know what? I'm being selfish. I just love chatting with you, my friend. But you know what? Everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, Kenny, always wonderful to have you here. Everybody, check him out. Subscribe. Hit that bell to be reminded when we're coming on. Until then, everybody. We'll see all right. All right. All right. All right. Everybody, that was Mr. Kenny Vance, so please, 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 if you like more of that, there will be more. That was just a little part of what's coming for the new year. I did a little sampler, a little tidbit for you guys. The full episode will be released after the new year. We'll be fixing that. I was just messing around with today's little uh, story, so and I thought that was a great little tidbit that I took of Kenny to spend a little uh, time with you guys on this beautiful new year's eve that we're spending together really quick let's go right now into the chat let's see who's talking so anybody any questions let's go let's hear you loud and proud i'll put your questions up here but just to let you know that full episode i will be airing it uncut on here 
in a few weeks. I just wanted to share this with you. And to all you Kenny Vans fans out there, please, if you like what you've seen and you want more, put your comments in below and tell me what you do like and what you want to hear because I want to know so I could get the stories told to you and tell me who you want to see on this channel. It's a, it'll be a lot of fun. Also, please remember to subscribe. Hit that bell to be reminded when we come on right down below uh, the channel. Now, it is artist on record. Talking Wax is still going on, everybody. It didn't go nowhere. We were still going to do our vinyl game showdown. We're also adding here another game. Could name that tune in four, four seconds. We'll be playing that with you guys as well. And if you're part of our Patreon, which that's in the descriptions down below, you got to be in it to win it. We're giving away, away vinyl prizes and much, much more for the new year. But how do you get involved? Join Patreon. Be a part of the family because your support helps this channel grow and keep this good material alive. The good rock and roll stories, the history, the banter, the laughter. And also, don't forget, find us Monday on Adika Live, Coffee Talk with Adika and Dr. G will be Monday, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on YouTube. All right, everybody. I love you. I want you guys to be safe, whatever you guys are all doing out there. And we'll get more of Kenny Vance and more of his stories because the guy has many stories. All righty. And Debbie, uh, happy new year to you and your family. Laura G, happy new year to you guys. Donnell, happy new year to you. And I hope your little one is feeling better. All right. I heard she was a little under the weather. Uh, Steve, always nice to see you. Thank you for being here tonight with us. Zandra, thank you very much. Nice piece. Okay. I hope it's not my hair piece fix your wigs, get your life together, but thank you. Be safe in Vegas. Alrighty. And everybody else out there, if whoever I didn't see, nice to see you, Laurel. Thank you very much. Teresa, always good to see you here. Thank you guys for sticking out. Alrighty. And, uh, be good to each other until then, everybody, I will see you all later. Right. And, uh, until then, everybody, I love you. Mitch Weissman. We love you. That's right. That's our little beetle guy over there. Until then, everybody, we are out of here, kids. Happy New Year, Mazel and love. Mwah. You know what? Let's roll that beautiful intro one more time. It's a beautiful thing, and I have a beautiful smile. Bam. And don't forget to share that smile to your favorite friends because they're going to enjoy it as much as I'm enjoying it. All right, until then, I love you. Big hugs. Happy New Year. God bless us all, everyone. Let's kick this one into gear starting right now. Goodbye. <laughs>